Hello everyone! I'm so excited to see you all today and I'm so excited for today. Can you guess what today is? Look, can you tell I'm wearing a birthday hat? I got some birthday balloons. What is today? Take a look. It's Pentecost! Yay! Happy birthday to the Christian Church! So exciting! So, so now that I've already got started on the church calendar, let's keep going. So what comes after Pentecost? What, what are all those green days? Ordinary time. Good job. Then after that, we come all the way back up to those blue days. What are those blue days? Advent. Then after Advent, what do we have? What is that special day? Christmas. Then we go down to the green days again, which are ordinary time. Then we come to the days that we just recently celebrated. What are the purple days? Lent. Then we come to what we just got done with. What is that? All those white days are Easter. And then on to the day that we have now, Pentecost. Yay! So exciting. Happy birthday to the church. Okay, so Miss Alicia and I are actually going to be doing a puppet skit for you today. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and that's going to be your story today. I hope you enjoy it. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. What looked like divided tongues of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each. Look at you! What's happening? <gasps> All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and be began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them a civility. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Or they dig. Sean, Diani. There were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one heard his own language being spoken by the disciples. Aren't these disciples of Jesus from Galilee? How is it that we can hear them speaking in our own native languages? I'm from Egypt, and I can hear them speaking about God's love and power in my Egyptian language. Hmm, they're obviously drunk on wine. I think they've simply lost their minds. Everybody, listen to what I say. Indeed, we are not drunk, as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock on Sunday morning. No, this is exactly what the prophet Joel predicted when he said, In the last days, God declares, I will pour out my spirit on all the people, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. I will show you wonders in heaven and signs upon the earth. The Lord's great and glorious day is coming. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hmm, this is very interesting, I think. People of Israel, listen to what I say. Jesus of Nazareth is the Messiah a fact that was proven to you by God with deeds of power, wonders and signs, yet you crucified him. But now, hear this good news. God raised him up from death. Why is he talking about that dead Jesus person and all those silly stories about him being raised from the dead? I can't believe they're still spreading stories about Jesus coming back from the dead. Nobody can do that. I certainly saw him dead on the cross. Fellow Israelites, it's no tall story. 
God raised up Jesus from the dead, and all of us are witnesses. And now Jesus in heaven, he's in heaven pouring out the Holy Spirit that you both see and hear. God has made Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Messiah. Wow, that really pierces my heart. I can feel the Spirit starting to burn a little, telling me that's true. What are we supposed to do now? Tell us. Repent of your sins and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. And you too will be forgiven and receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. I repent. I sure need my sins forgiven. Baptize me, Peter, and my family too. Huh. I'm going home. I don't believe this. This makes absolutely no sense to me. I'm going home. So those who welcomed Peter's message on that first Pentecost were baptized. And that day, about 3,000 persons were added to the church. But this is not the end of the story. It's only the beginning. Pentecost is a very special day because on this day, many people were baptized and became believers. This is why we call this day the Christian Church's birthday because many believers were born in the Christian faith this day so many years ago. How exciting. All right, bow your heads with me and let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. See y'all later.